Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, Kaylee and I are gonna be talking about the best things to do in Interlaken for people who love adventure travel. Be sure to stick around until the end of this list because we are going from 10 to one and number one is our top thing to do. Yeah, you do not want to miss it. Interlaken is known as the adventure capital of Switzerland and was one of our favorite destinations in the entire country. With its central location and endless activities at your doorstep, Interlaken is a perfect home base to consider for your trip. In this video, we will cover activities within about a 30 minute drive from the town of Interlaken. A new place, a new home for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. For those of you who don't know us, I'm David. I'm Kaylee. And we run a travel and adventure blog called Made to Explore. We are passionate about activities that get you outside and off the beaten path. We've got a ton of adventure travel and van life content. So if you're into that, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you around for our future videos. Number 10 on the list of the best things to do in Interlaken is to explore the town itself. It is built between two beautiful lakes mm -hmm. and there's a ton to do there. Definitely you want to eat Switzerland, really, really good food. We'd recommend cheese fondue, raclette, roasties. There's lots of really Finish good. Finish off with some chocolate. Yes, absolutely can't miss the chocolate. And another thing that you can do right from the town is rent a kayak or a canoe and go out on one of the lakes. Number nine on the list is hiking in Grindelwald. Now there are a couple of trails that stood out for me and Kaylee. First being the Eager Trail. This is famous for having views of Mount Eager, which is one of the hardest mountains to climb in the world. And it is stunning. The second hike that we loved is called the Kulpsi. Yeah, there's really a ton of trails here though. So you have a few options when you get to Grindelwald. We cheated a little bit and took the gondola up. This is a reoccurring theme in Switzerland. If you want to yeah. save money, you can do the full hike from the bottom. If you want to save some time, the gondolas take you up a lot of the steep, less scenic sections and allow you to hike further with amazing views the entire way. So we got to the top of the gondola station and there's hiking trails everywhere. Yeah. And honestly, Grindelwald is such a beautiful place. If you have some extra time, you can always check out the town there. Mm -hmm. And one of our favorite hotels was there, which we will talk about later too. If you are planning a trip to Switzerland, we have a travel guide for adventure lovers that covers all of our favorite places in this beautiful country. This guide details everything you need to know about traveling through Switzerland, including the best activities, where to eat, where to stay, budget tips, renting a vehicle, public transportation, and camping. Whether you're interested in hiking to Alpine huts for sunrise views, paragliding over Interlaken, finding hidden waterfalls in Lauterbrunnen, or off the beaten path things to see and do in some of Switzerland's most charming towns, let us do all the research so that all you have to worry about is enjoying your trip. This 77 page guide is an instant download and we cannot wait to share it with you. We've already got so much great feedback on it, so we will link it below. You do not want to miss it. Number eight on the list is to visit a nice hotel and a spa. So spas are very popular in Switzerland. If Kaylee was making the list, this would have been number one. I'll just say that. <laughs> you know what, guys? I miss the spas. I miss the spas. There are some really nice hotel options. We stayed at Hotel Salzano right in Interlaken, and it was amazing. They have a spa. They just installed the pool we saw. The family is super nice, and they have a really good restaurant there as well. The second recommendation is in Grindelwald and it was called Boutique Hotel Glacier. This view from our room was incredible and the spa there is really nice. So these are some options if you want to splurge a little bit. It's a really nice way to relax after a day of hiking. If you're on a budget though, something that we did a lot in Switzerland is we would kind of split it 50-50. So we would camp for a few days and then we would stay at a nicer hotel for a few days so number seven on the list is Jungfrau Jok. so you've probably heard of this place it is the top of Europe and the highest accessible point in Europe which is pretty crazy if you're not into hiking but you still love the views this is gonna be perfect for you but it does come with a bit of a price tag this is one of the most expensive train rides me and Kaylee saw while in Switzerland it was about 220 francs per person to get up to the top and back down 
With that said, you can pay to ride portions of the train. So if you want to get off and hike for a stretch and then get back on the train, you can do that. Bring down the cost a little bit. It is important to mention that the Swiss Travel Pass and the Swiss Half Fare Card both offer discounts for this. So if you have those, I don't believe that it's like free, but you do get a discount. Mm -hmm. Once you get to the top, there is a 360 degree observation deck. There is an ice cave and there is a restaurant. So you can hang out, enjoy for a little bit. Hopefully you have clear skies. Yeah. It can be super <laughs> hit or miss. Sometimes it's just cloudy all day, but sunrise and sunset up here would be spectacular. Yes, and this should go without saying, but you are high and I mean, there's an ice palace. So like, even if you go in the middle of the summer, bring a jacket and a toque and gloves because you're going to need them when you get to the top. Number six on the list of the best things to do in Interlaken is the Grindelwald Glacier Gorge. So there are a couple of really cool things that you can do here. The first one is a hike through the gorge. You have to book it with a tour. There is a company that owns it and they maintain all of the um, walkways and stuff, but it is pretty cool. It's only about a kilometer and between 10 and 20 Swiss francs per person. So really not that bad. The other really cool thing that you can do here if you are into it is a canyon swing through the gorge so this starts off with a 90 meter free fall mm -hmm. and then you swing in between the cliffs which is pretty wild me and Kaylee didn't do this unfortunately if we go back 100% doing, doing it, it yeah. but we did do it in Nepal and it was a crazy experience we had so much fun it was yeah highly recommend it yeah you can't quite explain what that feels like the free fall until you're on the not at all <laughs> Number five on the list is going to Lauterbrunn. So you can easily train here. It's 20 minutes from Interlaken. This is the most beautiful town that me and oh, Kaylee so visited pretty. while in Switzerland. So and that is a high, high mark to hit because Switzerland in a whole is stunning. Lauterbrunn is known for all the surrounding waterfalls in the valley. There are 72 of them, which is pretty wild. And they are all pretty spectacular. They range obviously from tiny to massive. One of our favorite things to do in Lauterbrunn, honestly, was just walk around and mm -hmm. like marvel at the area. There is a 5.2 kilometer path that walks you from Lauterbrunn down into the valley. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Our campground was yeah. actually along this path. Yes. So <laughs> seriously, guys, camping in Switzerland, best way to save money, like best money saving tip mm -hmm. that we have for you. We spent almost a week camping in Lauterbrunnen and it was amazing, beautiful, and we will link the campground below. Very reasonably priced. Another really popular thing to do in Lauterbrunnen is to paraglide down through the valley. We will talk a little bit more about that later. Number four on the list is to visit Harder Coombe. So you've probably seen pictures of this lookout up over Interlaken. You can take the Harderbahn, which is a tram that takes you all the way up to the top. It costs 38 Swiss francs round trip per person, or you can hike one way. If you wanted to hike the whole way, there is a whole loop trail that is around eight kilometers with 800 meters of elevation gain. So it depends what you're feeling that day. You can book your tickets online for this in advance. And I'd recommend this because me and Kaylee drove through by this a few times when we were in Interlaken and it gets so busy. Yeah. Um, we would also recommend sunset sunrise yes. if you want some colorful skies. Absolutely. You get such a good view from up there. You can see both lakes. You can see the mountains in the background. They have an observation deck and a restaurant. So if you're in the mood, we didn't even look at the prices of the restaurant. I'm just assuming that they're crazy. <laughs> if you're in the mood for a really nice view though, it might be worth looking into. Number three on the list is Oxmatorn hike. This was oh. one of our favorite hikes <laughs> in Switzerland. We had perfect weather, we saw wildlife, and this hike really has it all. Yeah. Oxmatorn is actually part of the Hardergrat Trail that follows the ridge line that actually starts at our last point, which is Harder Coombe. So if you want to do the whole ridge line, you can actually like start at Harder Coombe and then hike Hardergrat all the way along the top of the ridge to the other side. It is 24 kilometers in length. So this is the hike that we would recommend because you literally hike up and get the best view along the ridge line. And we actually rented a car while we were in Switzerland. So we were able to drive along the backside around the mountain and then hike up. The hike itself is five kilometers and 570 meters of elevation gain. So it's really not too bad. The views aren't that spectacular compared to when you get over the ridge, but they are pretty nice still, and you do have a very high chance of seeing some wildlife. You got to have a really cool experience with a small group of ibex that honestly didn't seem to mind us too much, yeah. but be sure to keep your distance when it comes to wildlife. You don't want to get too close. You want to respect their spaces. Number two on the list of the best things to do in Interlaken is the Via Ferrata from Murren to Gimmelwald. This 
was one of the most thrilling things we've ever done. Yeah. So cool. So there are a few different options with this Via Ferrata. You can either do it yourself. We rented our gear at Intersport, or you can do it with a tour. If you've never done a Via Ferrata before, do not make this your first solo experience. You definitely want to go with a guide, but if you're comfortable with it and you've done some before, uh, we went on our own and it was no problem. Yeah. We actually have a whole video on this because there's just so much to talk about when it comes to doing this Via Ferrata. It is 2.2 kilometers, approximately 300 meters of elevation loss. It takes around two, two and a half hours and you definitely, definitely want to do it if you are into hiking because it's a very cool experience. I had one of the scariest moments of my life on this Via Ferrata, <laughs> but we're not going to get into that. Watch the video. <laughs> All right, so number one thing to do in interlocking is paragliding. As soon as you arrive in this valley, you're going to realize this is a paragliding mecca because you are constantly going to see people jumping off the side of mountains, yeah. <laughs> but it's so much fun. Me and Kaylee did a tandem paraglide yeah. uh, with a local company based out of Interlochen, and it was an amazing experience. So beautiful, so much fun. Yeah, so peaceful. Like yeah. I kind of expected it to feel chaotic being up in the air, but it was just quiet. You have amazing yeah. views. It was incredible. There are actually a ton of places all over Switzerland that you can paraglide. Interlaken is definitely our number one, just because the views there are the so lakes. nice. Yeah, like the yeah. lakes are incredible. Number two would be Lauterbrunnen. So if you're... The waterfalls. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, amazing. And number three would actually be Zermatt. So we have a different video on Zermatt. We will link that in the description below as well. Mm -hmm. So the price isn't actually too bad and well worth the experience. It is between 150 and 250 francs per person. And there are a ton of companies that you can choose from in Interlochen to do this with. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our best things to do in Interlochen. Make sure to like this video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel, and check out our Switzerland travel guide. You seriously do not want to miss mm -hmm. it. We've had a ton of great feedback about it. Everyone who comes back from the trip is like, oh my god, I couldn't have done this without having your guide. So check it out and we will see you next week see you in the next one